I am Charlie and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my delicious Louisiana blackened catfish. Blackening is a term used in cooking where we take any type of fish fillet or meat, we coat it with butter, we season it and we sear it in a very hot cast iron skillet creating that nice black char that you see on the outside and leaving the piece of fish fillet or meat nice and juicy on the inside. This recipe calls for about six catfish fillets, enough to serve between three to six people. Not only is it one of Louisiana's most popular dishes, but it is absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Here is all what you'll need to make your blackened catfish and we're going to get started with our ingredients. You will need one and a half pounds, that's about four catfish fillets. You will also need some canola oil or unsalted butter, one large lemon, and for your seasonings you will need some Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning. Now if you don't have this you can use the Zatarain's Creole seasoning or the Sacramento Creole seasoning. You will also need some Chef Paul Poudom's Blackened Red Fish Magic and you can find this at any local grocery or department store such as Walmart and I'll have the link to where you can get this seasoning in the description box. You will also need some cayenne pepper and lastly you will need a cast iron skillet. And there we have it. Let's get straight to it. Add your catfish fillets into a strainer and rinse them off with cold water. We've transferred our catfish into a large bowl. Let's add some seasoning. Add one teaspoon of Tony Chacheray's Creole seasoning. Take one large lemon and cut it in half. Squeeze a half a lemon, about two teaspoons of it, on top of the catfish. Take your hands and rub the seasonings and the lemon juice onto the catfish. Take this and place this into your refrigerator for one hour or overnight. Here we have three tablespoons of unsalted butter. Place this into your microwave and melt it on high for one minute. Now if you don't have the unsalted butter, you will need three tablespoons of canola oil. We've transferred our catfish onto a chopping board. Here we have our butter with our pastry brush. We're going to brush a generous amount of butter onto each catfish fillet. Flip the catfish fillets over. And we're going to generously brush the butter onto the opposite side of each catfish fillet. Once done, flip the catfish fillet back over. Add a half a teaspoon of Chef Paul Poudom's Red Fish Magic. And one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper onto each catfish fillet. Preheat your fire to high heat. Here we have our cast iron skillet seasoned and ready to go. Let this get hot for two minutes. Now you want to make sure that you have your ventilation fan turned on because it will get smoky. Add your catfish fillet, the side that we've seasoned on, into your cast iron skillet. Add a half a teaspoon of Chef Paul Poudom's Red Fish Magic on top of your catfish fillet and one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Let this sear for three minutes. Flip the catfish fillet over. Let this sear 
for three minutes. After three minutes, turn your fire off. And our catfish is now done. Look at how beautiful that looks. Mm -mm -mm. Now we're going to remove our catfish fillet out of our cast iron skillet and place it onto your serving dish. Let this cool for five minutes before serving. Here's the final presentation and there you have it. Louisiana blackened catfish. If you like my channel hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. You can also check out this recipe along with all of my other recipes as well as contact me or donate to the channel. Visit www.charliecookandrews.com You can also like, follow, or contact me on Facebook and on Instagram under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's Taste Test is coming up next. Now it's time for Charlie's taste test. Okay. Mm -hmm. Say, bro, catfish is absolutely delicious. It's nice, well seasoned, not salty at all. It has that nice chard flavor that combines with the seasonings that gives it a oh, wonderful, tremendous flavor. Then the catfish is nice and juicy on the inside. Absolutely delicious. I'm telling y'all, try the recipe. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. So until next time, take care and I hope you all have a blessed day. Peace.